Hi everyone, today I am making a little cake topper and it's um, Dusty the Plane from the new Disney movie Planes. Um, it's a cute little aeroplane topper. So let's get started. So these are all the bits and pieces we need to make Dusty the Plane. We've got some white fondant, some black fondant, a little paint palette, uh, cheaply picked up from a craft shop two pieces of wire, a roller, pizza cutter, a couple of brushes, a small palette knife, some pliers, I've got a lollipop stick here, some tylose powder, some flour glue, I've got some silver paint there and some orange food colour. I've also got this little spongy makeup pad which is really great for resting the body of the plane on once we've made it without losing its shape. So that's all the tools we need to make Dusty the plane. Now to start with what I've done is taken my white fondant out of the bag and I've split it up into three pieces. This one's roughly about 80 grams, about 40 grams and about 10 grams, 10-15 grams. So we'll put these two pieces away just so they don't dry out while we're working on the body. And what we're going to do is soften up the icing and a bit of a knead. Add some Tylos powder. This will harden it up. In fact, it's best once we've made this to leave it overnight. Okay, knead it all in together. This is a really cute plane. Uh, once my boys saw the trailer for this movie, they couldn't wait until I had made something that resembles a plane movie. And we had a bit of a farewell party on the weekend, and I thought, what better excuse than to try and make a plane's cake topper? So there we are. The tilas is mixed in nicely. Get it into a nice little ball so we can start forming Dusty's body. And what we need to do is first of all roll it into a little bit of long sausage. So that's what we have there. Okay, and then put the one end in the bottom of your palms and put them on an angle and gently roll, pressing together hardest at the bottom of the palms, just so we can try and make a bit of a cone for the tail. So it comes together very quickly and that will be the tail end of the plane. And now to get the nose, all we want is a bit more of a rounded, soft nose there. So do the same as we did for the tail, but don't press as hard this time because we don't need such a pointy shape there. And that's pretty much it. Now remember I mentioned that makeup sponge. This is where it comes in handy and sits perfectly. It will hold until it gets harder without giving any indentations or markings on the body. Before that sets into a really hard form, a uh, handy tip is to mark in some lines which will help later when we come to paint. Top part of the body is orange so and it goes in a line like this so gently with the back of a paintbrush or a toothpick I just make these little markings in there around there and on the other side the same thing. This will just help to give a nice straight finish to our painting and also around the nose we will make an indentation there and just pick it up gently and we'll do a nice big smile at the bottom so just a semicircle all the way around and do it, this indentation a little bit harder than the others just so we can really see that that's a smile and on the sides we'll just accent his mouth by giving a little cheek line or a grin so we can really see that Dusty is smiling there we go. So if you've lost any of your shape, just gently pat it out, roll it again. You won't really lose your lines. And you've got this re really cute smile. Hopefully you can see that. It's coming out. You can actually see that's a really great grin on this face. So I'll put that aside for a moment. Let's get the other pieces of fondant out. We'll do the top part of the plane, which is actually his face. And basically let's make a small cube like that, very easy to use its fingers and then just sort of pinch it on the sides to get a little bit of height and also you start to lose that square shape and you get a bit more of a, a squashed triangle like that. Okay, 
so that will be the face and here this is the sides and what I like to do is make this lean in a little bit like that don't make this front part too narrow because we need enough space to put two of the eyes there and there and if it's too narrow we're going to have our eyes sitting on top of each other you just pick it up and just gently pinch the edges just so that when it sits on the top of the body we get a nice even smooth finish and smooth join bring it back here actually position this on while, before it all hardens out there so that's good so you just take your flower glue put that there just smooth it on again if you get any more finger marks in the body just smooth that on it doesn't matter it's very soft at the moment but by tomorrow it will be it'll dry let's put that away okay. now we can take our final piece out and we can roll this out flat probably would go for about two or three mil thick we don't want it too thin because we also need to put in the wire and we don't want the wire to poke through the fondant and we want it to be nice and strong so that our wings can stay straight when we've connected them to the body okay it's very easy just like this I'm going to make a couple of rectangles so with this rectangle we're going to get the two side wings this rectangle is going to make the back tail and over here where we use that rectangle to make the two back wings so put those two bits of fondant away for now Just even these out so they're not curved on the edges and simply with your first rectangle make two triangles there we go so those are the two main side wings and I think it looks nice if we just take off a tiny bit from the point so let's put those two aside just make sure this is a nice even rectangle before we go cutting out to make triangles so these are the back wings so again two triangles them like that and take off a little bit again so it's not such a sharp point there we go put those over there and finally the tail it's very simple you don't want it too tall so let's take off some of that rectangle and we're just going to cut down one side so not a perfect triangle so we can get that nice flat piece so that's it now before we put these pieces away to dry and insert the wire into them it's also a good idea again like the body to make some indentations so that when we come to paint we end up with nice edges on our painting what we want to do is make a line I'll show you if I hold that up like this make a line here's, here's the orange part that we're going to paint is towards the top end the the angle so the easiest thing to do is with your pizza cutter just make a line like this so you can see there that when we come to paint later on if we paint inside this line that we've marked we're going to end up with a nice straight finish so we'll do the same on the other and the back wings the orange paint is on towards the flatter side so we'll put our line marking down to the flatter side and the back tail it doesn't need any lines because the whole thing's painted orange take back our bit of white fondant again and we're going to cut out a little visor for the front of the face now the visor is not essential but it does add to the amount of detail you have in your finished product so basically it's just a little tiny little piece of fondant that we make in somewhat of a semi semi half circle a little crescent and that's just going to stick to the front
Now Dusty has two side lights and two side windows. So we'll cut the side windows. So we end up with a shape that looks like a little side window. Okay, we'll stick those on later. Now we'll just do the side lights. They're like oval shaped lights. Very simple, just take a little bit of icing about that shape, roll it into a little log, cut it down the middle, even, and there we have stand it on its side, two side lights. Put them to a side. We're making the rims for the wheels. So again, make it into a little cylinder, cut it down the middle, roll two little balls. And we'll just press on them. So these will make the centre of our wheels. The last thing I'm going to do is cut out two pieces of fondant for what hold the back wheel in place. I'm not sure what this is called, but let's just call it the axle. Now once we've made the back wheel, these will sit on each side of the back wheel. Okay, there we go. So we want a length of wire just a little bit longer than the actual wing itself. So about there. And we want two pieces for each wing so that we've got some good support. So we've got we've cut one piece down the bottom, which I'll insert. Just gently press with your finger to make sure that you're guiding it through and it's not going to poke out from anywhere. So at least about just a little bit under a centimetre poking out is a good length. And the other one doesn't have to be as long because we're putting it into the shorter part of the wing. There you go. So we do that for the other wing on the other side. And the shorter pieces, the shorter wings are exactly the same. While I'm at it, I might as well cut the wire for my tail. Two pieces there again. So do the wings first, the back wings. And the tail. Now we put the wire at the bottom of the tail because it's going to be standing up, not going in sideways. There we go. So we'll put all these white pieces to a side to dry and we'll come back with the black fondant. Now that we've got our black fondant out, I've just added the tylose powder into this. I'm just kneading it in and getting a nice smooth ball before we start. Roll it into a cylinder. And what I'm going to do is cut out three pieces for the wheels. Put the other bit away. And you end up with these three shapes. The best thing to do, i found, is to hold it by the sides and gently pat it down. Pick it up if you need to start. Roll, twisting it in between your fingers. Maintain those two flat sides that you got by cutting it. And you end up with a really nice round wheel with some nice smooth edges. And to get the perfect round, what I find is just gently hold it by the sides and guide it and roll it along, get a beautiful smooth edge. So there's one. Very quickly to do. You can see before I start, that's quite out of shape. It doesn't look like a wheel at all. But gently just squeeze it into position. You can see with just that little bit, we've almost got a lovely round wheel. There's a second wheel and they're just about the perfect size of each other. And the last wheel. So these are the three wheels. While they are soft we'll 
cut the lollipop stick and insert that so it can dry nice and hard. So about about an inch, which is about two and a bit centimetres. So pop it into there and then take it out, dip it in some flour glue, stick it in. It's also a good idea to leave these bits the flour glue to dry overnight, just so that when we put everything, assemble everything together, our bits and pieces are not going to get squashed out of shape and it's nice and strong and so that the wheels can hold the weight of the body of the plane. You can put the white rims on now or you can do it another time after it's dry at the end. Well, we only need to put the rim on one side because the two wheels facing each other sitting close together You can put a little bit of flour glue, but because the fondants are quite soft and wet, you can just press them on. And the two, what I call axles for the back flour glue, just press them in. Now what you're going to notice is that these two bits are actually taller than the wheel, and they sit up higher than the wheel itself. And that's fine because when we place the body of the plane, we, it's going to hold it above the wheel so that the plane doesn't sit on the wheel itself and it will create this nice little space in between. So put those aside to dry. Finally, before we put the black fondant away and before it gets too hard, we need to cut out the propellers. Cut out three rectangles and then we'll just form them gently into the shape that we need. That's a bit too long, so we'll cut them a bit shorter. Just under an inch long is good enough. So we've got a rectangle there, and what we want to do is just pinch the edge so it's a little bit round. Not into a sharp point, but just nice and round. And the bottom end, pinch that in. Do the same with the others. So grab our second piece of wire. And cut it about a centimetre longer than the length of the propeller and insert those. After about 24 hours, they're nice and hard, very easy to and handle. Put this remaining black fondant in a snap lock bag and we'll come back later to assemble everything. Now all of our pieces have dried and we're going to start painting. So what I've done is put one squeeze of the orange food colouring into a paint palette and when I originally did this I used the orange food colouring and you get very vibrant orange colour but you also see some streaks in the painting. So what I tried next was using this uh, bright white, one squeeze of the white bright into the paint palette mixed with the orange and I think we might get a bit more even paint uh, and brush strokes we might not see so much. So we're just going to go ahead, yeah as you can see there, it looks really nice and vibrant orange and it doesn't leave the streaks that we did get in my first attempt at this. So now what I'm going to do is just paint the body. And you can see as I go along those indentations that were made while the fondant was soft gives us a nice border to work within.
While I was waiting for the orange paint to dry, I just made one set of eyes. And now we're ready to bring back our wheels, which are nice and hard. Make dried overnight yesterday. You can see they're nice and hard, and they're very strong, and they're going to support the weight of the body of the plane, so we can now remove that little sponge. And we're going to dip the end of the lollipop stick just a little bit into the flower glue and stick it in to the front. Same with the other wheel. Get it in there a little bit. And make sure they are sitting even the right height. They're both the same height. Push it in a little bit more. And now the back one, do the same. And we actually might need our brush because it's a good idea to put a little bit of flower glue on the top end of that white fondant so that sticks to the underside of the body of the plane. Lift it up. Slowly insert it all the way in until those white, what I call axles, come and meet and join the body of the plane. So with some luck, he is going to stand perfectly on his own. Beautiful. Now all we've got to do is our final assembly, and that's the front wings, the back wings, and our three propellers. So I'll go ahead and do that now.